Hello everybody, it's your boy Fred Links and welcome back to my channel and man have I got a video for you guys today. So this is my Asus X750L laptop. It's a desktop replacement laptop. It's a giant beast of a laptop that I've had for now almost 10 years. I want to say I bought it somewhere in... September of 2014 or so and this has been my mainstay for the longest time and this is the laptop that I primarily use to try and edit videos for YouTube and stuff and recently I've noticed well not recently I want to say it's pretty uh, it's been it's been some time I have noticed that it has started to show its age and in particular the fact that it has one of those old mechanical HDD drives in it, uh, it really, really struggles to keep up with anything that I'm doing. So I just decided, you know what, it's time. Let's try and see if we can breathe some new life back into this laptop. And the way we're going to do that is that we're going to go ahead and replace the hard disk drive inside this old machine and if you're wondering with what it's gonna be an ssd one terabyte king spec and also at the same time i thought why not upgrade the ram in it because the ram is pretty old and it is not as high as i would like for it to be as much as the chipset can take which in this case the current RAM configuration I'm gonna throw the specs up on the screen for you guys as well at some point Alrighty, looking at the specs of the laptop it does come with an Intel Core i5 4200U 1.6 gigahertz it is an older CPU unfortunately and these are something you cannot swap out on these laptops unfortunately but it's decent enough for me to be able to do my work on it the memory or the ram you can see is six gigabytes and the hdd is 750 gigabytes which both of these we're gonna upgrade to a one terabyte ssd and 16 gigs of ram to see if it uh, does improve and yes you do see that correctly this laptop does come with windows 8 unfortunately i've had to live with that for a long time currently it is running on windows 10 so we are gonna continue to use that i'll reinstall the windows i'll show you guys what the method is and go from there and so yeah as i was saying the laptop did slow down quite a bit on me uh originally came with windows 8 or vista i know it's horrible i used it for about eight years or so on this particular laptop uh, and it was just getting too much the, the the laptop really started to slow down quite a bit for me So I thought maybe if I just installed a new fresh windows on it that would fix a lot of the problems Unfortunately as soon as I installed windows 10 on it. I think that uh, Basically tanked the processor even more and the fact that it has less RAM and an old HDD Which is about 10 years old at this point doesn't really help uh, with the performance uh, aspect of the laptop at this point. So, in enters the SSD upgrade for the laptop and also these TimeTech uh, RAM upgrades. So, these are two sticks of 8 gigs each. 16 gigs is the max that this particular CPU can take. Uh, the upgrade process I've looked at uh, online a little bit and it's not easy on this particular laptop Unfortunately, we would have to take the whole motherboard out for it. I really hope I don't break this laptop It's been a really really good reliable machine for me uh, But it's just I think it's a necessary upgrade that we need to do to this uh, Particular machine at this point just so that we can increase its life and it's like I said It's my main laptop that I still use to this day for everything uh, completely uh, you know any of my uh, daily work that I need to get done especially the video editing for YouTube and stuff this is the baby that I do it on and trust me this large machine helps me out a lot yeah the battery isn't the best at this point but it still lasts for about I think a good 45 minutes to an hour which is for a machine that's about 10 years old it's still pretty fantastic anyway let's go ahead and start the disassembly process and I'll show you when we get to the inside and uh, see what we have to do from there to start making these upgrades onto this beautiful laptop of mine. 
Now some of you might be wondering what am I gonna do with my data once I replace the SSD with the hard disk drive that I have in the laptop. Unfortunately I don't have a way to clone the drive so what I have done is that I don't usually keep my data in the Windows folder which is something really that not a lot of people suggest anyway. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna transfer all of my data out onto an external hard disk drive. I have one terabyte external hard disk that I can move the data out to and then once I have the SSD installed I am gonna go ahead and copy paste the data back into it I don't have a lot of programs apart from like maybe office and the video editor that I use for this laptop so it's not gonna be a huge issue yes it's a bit of a hassle but uh, hey we'll get a fresh copy of Windows into it and uh, we'll start from the beginning so I have taken all the screws out at this point so we're gonna go ahead and start the disassembly process for the laptop. All right, so I've taken off the clip from the bottom of the laptop and this laptop has the most weirdest way of taking apart. So you'll see now, there are a few ribbon cables that I have detached as well. There's three of them right here that I've taken off. And now we have access to the inside of the laptop. Clearly it shows that we need to do some cleaning on it as well. The hard drive is going to be easy to access as you guys can clearly see. But the RAM, we're probably going to have to disconnect everything here and take the motherboard out. First things first, always remember to disconnect the battery. Make sure you put that to the side and then uh, let's start the disassembly process. Uh, I'm going to start doing the ribbon cables first and then take out all the screws and flip the motherboard over. I think I am going to take this opportunity to uh, replace the thermal paste too. Obviously the laptop is dirty a little bit on the inside. I think about two years ago or so I did clean the fan area out. It had a lot of lint and stuff in it but I'm going to take the opportunity to properly clean the laptop this time and uh, you know hopefully we can uh, go through this process easily so I'll meet you guys once I have the motherboard completely removed and uh, we'll replace the RAM at that point alrighty folks the motherboard is finally out I dusted it off a little bit but here we have the RAM right underneath this black paper so we're gonna go ahead and replace these RAM sticks out and we're gonna do I'm actually thinking that I will try and remove the um, heatsink off and change the thermal paste on the chip too. I'm going to use this Corsair TM30 that I have with me and uh, see if that helps with the uh, performance a little bit. I'm not sure if the CPU is throttling at this point or not. Uh, the, it's pretty clean now at this point, like at least the fan and stuff, everything. So let's go replace the ram sticks with the new ones that we got so we're gonna take these two sticks of uh three gigs each or six gigs in total out and replace them with these 16 gigs of uh, ram with two sticks of eight gigs each ddr 3l ram and uh yeah we'll uh, do that and then uh, we'll start putting everything back together Alrighty, just wanted to quickly show you guys look at that tiny tiny cpu and <laughs> extremely tiny gpu but i cleaned the dies up completely and placed on new thermal paste on it the fan stack is clean too the fan is clean too so we're pretty much good to go we're gonna go ahead and start putting this uh laptop back together i did replace the ram now with two sticks of 16 gigs of ram as well so we are good to go boys Alrighty folks, everything is back together, everything is clean, I managed to put the motherboard back in, uh, the King Spec SSD is in 1 terabyte. so we're going to go ahead and close everything up, connect the battery in, all the other ribbon cables and stuff I have connected back up. Uh, the only thing left now is to turn on and make sure the laptop works and of course install a fresh new copy of Windows 10 and uh, see if uh, everything is hopefully fingers crossed good and uh, it works so we'll uh, see you guys in a bit
Okay, so I managed to put everything back together at this point. I cleaned the laptop uh, from the top and from the inside as well. And it is looking pretty nice at this point, I would like to say. I have installed a fresh copy of Windows 10 on it. Now, for the purpose of keeping the comparison between the old Windows with the old hard drive and the old RAM and with the new SSD and the 16 gigs of RAM, as close to, you know, possible, uh, for comparisons, what I've done is I've installed everything back. So it was it's not just a clean windows on it. I have installed back my the, my video editor that I use in this. I have uh, installed Microsoft Office. I didn't have a whole bunch of programs in there, but Adobe and stuff like that I have put back in uh, just to kind of, you know, say that we're giving the computer the same amount of stress that it had before uh, with the old hard drive and the RAM and to see what kind of difference that is we're gonna go ahead and run a video uh, comparing both the boot up sequence with the old hard drive and with the new SSD and the RAM now for anyone wondering what are we gonna do with the old RAM I'm just using the box of the SSD sorry not the old RAM the old uh, hard drive um, I have ordered one of those cases uh, off of Amazon where you can just put this in and turn this into an external hard disk which I think is gonna be incredibly helpful because this is still 750 gigs of a Samsung HDD I'm gonna you know uh, format it completely remove all the data from it because I don't really need it anymore I have to tell you I have been using the laptop for a couple of hours after everything was done Windows installation everything was super fast any program that I installed has been absolutely fantastic i am absolutely loving using my old laptop again i cannot recommend enough like just the fact of how fast the laptop is at this point versus what it was doing before with the old hard drive and the old ram i it's like even though the cpu is still a bit of a bottleneck because it's a smaller smaller chipset but but even with that the ssd alone makes such a huge difference honestly if you're able to do it highly recommend it though disclaimer do it with the risk of knowing that you can break stuff in it if you're not a professional maybe take it to a professional to do this for you but uh, it has been absolutely fantastic uh, doing this upgrade on the laptop anyway we're gonna go ahead and uh, run the comparison video and show you guys a difference of when we would boot the uh, laptop in old times with the old hard drive and ram versus the new with the ssd and increased ram <laughs> 